हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर सेशन ऑन ग्रेड नाइन मैथमेटिक्स नंबर सिस्टम पार्ट फाइव टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म रैशनलाइजेशन रैशनलाइजेशन फैक्टर एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रैशनलाइजेशन रैशनलाइजेशन इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग एन इ रैशनल नंबर इन टू रैशनल नंबर बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग इट बाय सम फैक्टर This factor is called the rationalizing factor. Example: If we want to rationalize root two, we will have to multiply it by root two to convert it into a rational number. This root two into root two will make it two. So therefore, the number which has made it rational is called the rationalizing factor. Here, root two is the rationalizing factor. Two root three. Two root three can be rationalized only by multiplying with root three. Therefore, I can write this as two into three is equal to six. Since this number root three is rationalizing it, so we call it a rationalizing factor. Four root two, four root two can be rationalized by multiplying it by root two. That is, four into two is equal to eight because root two into root two is two. So Rationalizing factor is root two. One upon root two. Which number can make it rational? If I multiply, there are two ways of doing it. If I multiply it by root two, root two and root two will cancel. I will get one. So root two is also the rationalizing factor of this. But if I multiply it by one upon root two, then One upon root two into root two will become two. So this also converts it into a rational number. Therefore, it has one upon root two also as a rationalizing factor. Question is, rationalize the denominator one upon two root three. Now, again there are two methods of doing it. We can multiply it by root three. right i just have to rationalize they are saying they are not saying that the meaning should be same or you have to just rationalize and tell the rationalizing factor then how can i rationalize i can rationalize it by multiplying it by 1 upon root 3 this root 3 into root 3 will give me 3 so i have 1 upon 2 root 3 which is equal to 1 upon 6 now the questions that can be asked in exam they will be like 1 upon root plus a uh, 2 plus root 3 you have to rationalize the denominator and solve it so what can i do is 1 upon 2 plus root 3 can be multiplied by 2 minus root 3 upon 2 minus root 3 because this means 1 if i will multiply a given expression with 1 it is not going to change its value so whenever a question on rationalizing and solving comes we are going to find out a number which will rationalize the denominator and the same number should be written in the numerator also here notice that if i was having 2 plus root 3 i have taken 2 minus root 3 i have taken the opposite sign here because when i will multiply it i will get a plus b into a minus b which gives me a square minus b square and this is definitely going to be rational now this kind of number is known as its conjugate that is when the sign in between changes all right with the opposite sign we have here now rationalize the denominator right so here you are having 2 minus root 3 upon 4 minus 3 which gives me 2 minus root 3 upon 1 we have rationalized the denominator by multiplying 2 plus root 3 by its conjugate remember conjugate of a plus root b is a minus root b and conjugate of a minus root b is a plus root b now applications of rationalization solve by rationalizing the denominator first one 1 upon 3 plus root 5 Conjugate of three plus root five is three minus root five. Multiply both the numerator and the denominator by three minus root five. So I have one upon three plus root five into three minus root five upon three minus root five, which is equal to three minus root five upon three square minus root five square. 
So this gives me 3 minus root 5 upon 9 minus 5 which is equal to 3 minus root, root 5 upon 4. Hence we have rationalized the denominator. Next question is 1 upon root 5 minus 2 root 3. So 1 upon 5 minus 2 root 3 into 5 plus 2 root 3 upon 5 plus 2 root 3. Because conjugate of 5 minus 2 root 3 will be 5 plus 2 root 3. Which is equal to 5 plus 2 root 3 upon 5 square minus 2 root 3 whole square. Which gives me 5 plus 2 root 3 upon 25 minus 12. 12 kaise hai? You see 2 root 3 into 2 root 3 will be 4 into 3. That is equal to 12. Now 25 minus 12 is 13. So this is equal to 5 plus 2 root 3 upon 13. Next 5 upon root 3 minus root 5. Now rationalizing factor of root 3 plus root uh, minus root 5 is root 3 plus root 5. That means it is conjugate or you can call it by other name rationalizing factor because it is going to make it rational. Therefore now multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3 plus root 5. 5 upon root 3 minus root 5 into root 3 plus root 5 upon root 3 plus root 5 which is equal to 5 root 3 plus 5 root 5 upon root 3 square minus root 5 square that is equal to 5 root 3 plus 5 root 5 upon 3 minus 5 which is equal to 5 root 3 plus 5 root 5 upon minus 2 or we can take 5 upon minus 2 common and inside I have root 3 plus root 5. Next question simplify 3 upon 5 minus root 3 plus 2 upon 5 plus root 3. Now I notice that these two are conjugates of each other. So applying butterfly method is going to be more convenient that is a into d plus b into c upon bd. So here I multiply these two and here I multiply 3 with 5 plus root 3 and 2 with 5 minus root 3. This is equal to 15 plus 3 root 3 plus 10 minus 2 root 3 upon 5 square minus root 3 square. So this gives me 25 plus root 3 upon 25 minus 3 which is equal to 25 plus root 3 upon 22. This is the answer. Thank you.